reviews, yeah Hey, it's about to go down, have a good time All you gotta do, yeah Is scroll on down and click that button Hello everyone and welcome back to Living Life with Lisa Lisa Hi guys, welcome back to the channel If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button What are you waiting for? Come on, come on in, come on in to the family And also if you're new here, don't forget to click on that notification bell So you know when I post And if you like this video, how about you give it a thumbs up, a thumbs up and also leave me a comment in the comment section. If you're already a member of the family, hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today what I have here guys, I have a, let me see, farmer's market haul. I went to a farmer's market in a different part of Alabama and I found some cool things and I just wanted to share those with you guys, okay? So stay tuned, let me switch up here and then we'll talk about what I have and then I'll show you guys what I have. All right guys, so I am back. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is white acre peas, okay? Can y'all see that? White acre peas. I ate these growing up and TK had these growing up and he just loves them. So we got two packs of the White Acre Peas and one was like $2.55 and the other was $2.87. So yeah, White Acre Peas. We can hook these peas up. We can cook them with okra, some chicken broth, um, all our seasonings and whatever smoked meat or oxtail that you want to put in there, you can use it for that. Okay, the second thing we have is we have what you call chuck wagon corn. I've never had it or heard of this before, but it's called chuck wagon corn. And it looks like, of course, it has the corn, and it looks like it has the peppers and the onions already cut up in it, so that's probably why it's called chuck wagon. But anyway, it was $2.50 for this bag. Can't wait to cook this to see how it tastes. It looks like it's gonna be really, really good. Now, the third thing we have is, let me see, y'all can see them through the bag. They're called scuffing nines, but back in the day, we called them bullets. Do y'all recall having these back in the day? We used to go and pick them off of the trees and eat them, we would get in trouble going in people's yard picking these bullets. Can y'all see it? So they had some of those and y'all, it, it seems like everybody that was walking in the door, they were going straight to the um, scuffing lines. Now something else I have, which I wish I would've got the yellow ones and the red ones, but I never had them before, so I didn't want to get them and I just wanted to try this. These are green peppers. I know y'all seen these before, and they're hot. These are the hot ones. These are not just the regular ones that we generally cook with. These are the hot ones. So I got these, and I'm gonna try these probably in some chicken. When I bake some chicken, I may try them in there. So we got two of those peppers, and I can't remember how much they were, y'all, sorry. And then we got some good old peaches. Y'all look at these peaches, they are healthy, look. These are peaches. They are healthy. Then, this is another thing we used to get in trouble about when we were younger. We would go in people's yard that had plum trees and we would pick plums off of their trees. So they had some of these, so we got some of these. Those plums. So that's all for the fruit and the vegetables. So now the next thing we have is we have the saltwater taffy. I know y'all remember these. Saltwater taffy. Let me take one out. Can y'all see it? I don't know if my hand is working, but let me take it out the paper. See? Saltwater taffy. And they come in all colors. I'll eat that later. They come in purple, green, pink and green, and orange. And of course the yellow. So yeah, saltwater taffy. And for this little container here, it was $2.06. All right, then the next thing we have is chocolate banana chips. Ooh, chocolate banana chips. Now I've never seen or heard this of this before. Let me see. I have to smell stuff. I definitely smell chocolate. Hmm. 
Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, something else I gotta go back and eat. Seems like I taste a coconut, but it doesn't say that it's coconut in there. But it's chocolate banana chips. And this is what it looked like. Chocolate banana chips. All right. Then the next thing we have milk chocolate crunch. Milk chocolate crunch. And they're in the shape of a pretzel. So let's see. I don't know how I end up getting all this chocolate stuff. Ooh, ooh, this chocolate me. They're small too. That's what it looks like. Mm, it's good. It doesn't taste like a pretzel. But, but really chocolate, chocolatey. Mm. Okay, and this is again milk chocolate crunch and they were $2.55. Now the next one we have is some mustard pretzels. Let's see if I can smell and taste the mustard. No. It's what it looks like, a pretzel. And it's, it does have like a yellow, semi-yellow color. You think, T? Yeah. Let's see. Mm. I don't really care for that, y'all. And simply because I can taste the mustard. But you're supposed to taste the mustard because that's why it's called mustard pretzels. But you definitely taste the mustard, y'all. Not too bad. I would definitely have to drink something while eating these. Okay, then the next thing we have is we have some Jessie's Girls Wildflower Honey. Y'all, they had all different kinds of honey in there. And let me tell you, it was not cheap. It was expensive. So we have to use this honey with caution because it was $12.99. And this is a 16 ounce bottle. But I know it's good, it's real good. All right, y'all, I'm taking it all the way back with this here. Some real cane syrup. TK says he gonna take this syrup, he gonna get him some biscuits, and he gonna go to work. So yeah, some real cane syrup. And this was $2.99, so it wasn't too bad. And what size bottle? This is a 12.5 ounce bottle, but yeah. All right, guys, then we have some, if I'm pronouncing this right, Doritos fruit punch, no caffeine. And that's the fruit punch flavor. And then I got two of the pineapple, pineapple flavor. This is gonna be really good. And they're Doritos as well too. That's gonna be really, really good. No caffeine. And then we have some more pretzels, y'all. Mm. And this says blueberry yogurt pretzels so this should be good blueberry yogurt pretzels let me see blueberry yogurt pretzels Yeah, I can taste the blueberry. Not so much as the yogurt. It's good, it's good. And this bag was $2.83. And lastly guys, I know y'all gonna remember this. This is some watermelon taffy. Remember that taffy candy we grew up on? Y'all, they had some of everything in there. So it comes in a bag and then it comes wrapped. So let me unwrap it. There I go smelling again. It smells good. It smells like watermelon. It's what it looks like. Mmm. 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 So after y'all, everything that we got, I like. So that was good. So that was our first time ever going to that farmer's market. We were just riding out, so we went and visited that market. And we really liked it, it's really huge and everything, and it, it was clean, and everything was fresh, and 
Yeah, we liked it. Did you like it, T? Yes. Yes, T liked it as well, too. So, all right, guys. I hope you all like our goodies that we found. And I hope you guys are glad that I shared this with you guys. I enjoyed it because the first thing I said is, oh, I got to make a video. I got to show my people what we found. At first, I was going to record, but then they had the music going, and it was so loud. I was like, that would be a waste of my time because I'll get copyrighted because the music, you know, sometimes when you go in places, they have the music going, and it's kind of down low, but this music was blasting. So I said, well, okay, I'll just do a farmer's market haul. And so that's what I did. All right, now, again, if you're new here, don't just leave. Go ahead and subscribe. Click on that notification bell. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. Also, to leave me a comment in the comment section. And those of you who are returning, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys for your continued support. And until next time, bye-bye. Gotta do, yeah. It's scroll on down and click that button if you wanna see more dope content, and that's for sure. Tell a friend so they can tell more and make sure you share before you go. Comment if you like what you see. We making moves, ain't no time to take seats. We living life all 2020. Lisa, Lisa, gonna talk to the peace. Lisa, Lisa.